Hello friends, you are watching Android Tech Solutions and today in this video I am showing you how can we configure a FTP server with user based authentication. So in the previous video I have covered, uh, I made a video on uh, accessing FTP, creating FTP server with anonymous access means anybody can access our FTP server. Okay, but in this video we are going to set a security of user based authentication means uh, a valid client or a valid user is will be able to access our FTP means we will set a username and password and with the username and password only the clients will be able to access our FTP okay so here we are going to use the VSFTPD the very secure file transfer protocol so now let us start so the anonymous access of FTP video I have given the link in the description so you can check out that link okay so first of all you have to run this command sudo app get update okay so first of all you have to update your app get repositories so I have already updated my app get repository so I will not execute this command so after that you have to run this command sudo app get install vsftpd so you have to install this package sudo app get install vsftpd I have already installed this package so now let's see uh, try to access our FTP server after you install this package your FTP is up and running okay I'll try to access my FTP before that just check your IP address by use, executing this command IP space A so here you can see I have IP address this is my IP address okay so I'll try to access it with my IP address if you don't know how to configure IP address I've given a, video, a link in the description of configuring IP address in Ubuntu so here I'll give FTP in the web browser you have to give FTP then colon slash and then the IP address so it is prompting us for a username and password so currently we don't have a user and a password uh, means we have a user but we uh, means we will create a, another user means uh, authentication we will create of a particular user okay so we will add a user okay so you have to run this command sudo add user and I will create a user name with FTP user okay you can give add any user with na any name okay so here you can see it is adding a user it is asking for a password I will set a password and rather than I will just press enter so here you can see we have created a specific user a FTP user you can create a, a user with any name so I have created a user with this okay now I'll uh, restart the service of FTP which is system CTL restart VSFTPD so it has been restarted successfully now I'll just uh, refresh reload okay again it is prompting me for a username and password so this time I'll give FTP user and I'll give password so now here you can see I am able to access my FTP server okay so now the uh, clients uh, means your client uh, who have this uh, username and password will only be able to access it rather than no will buddy will be uh, able to access it okay now I'll show you how can we put your files and this uh, files and folders in your FTP okay so we'll go to CD uh, home means the home directory we have to go uh, of the user of the, uh, of the particular user we we are creating the FTP okay so I am going to CD home FTP user okay because I have created a user with this one only okay and if I do ls over here you can see a file example.desktop okay so here also you can see that similar file example.desktop I will create a directory over here and I will name the directory as share and I will create a file and now I'll just refresh the page so here you can see we have a file which I've just created and we have a directory named share which I've just created okay so uh, like this you can put your uh, files or data in that uh, directory okay the home FTP user directory okay like here I've shown okay now one more thing uh, there's a file in etc called 
I'll open it sudo nano ftp users. So in this file here you can see a comment list of users disallowed ftp access. Means, means in this file the names of the user are written whom we uh, whom are not allowed to access the ftp. Okay. So if you have to deny a particular user to uh, not access the FTP then you can give over here. Okay, like what I'll do is I'll give the user FTP user only uh, no access. Okay, like we have created a user name to FTP user. So I'll just give the name over here and not, now let's check whether we are able to access it or not. So before that I'll just restart the service. Okay, now I'll try to refresh. Okay, now it's uh, again asking for our prompting for username and password. So I'll give FTP user and I'll prompt the password. So here you can see it is showing uh, error 530 and it's saying login incorrect. Means now the particular user, FTP user, is not able to access the FTP server. Okay, so like this you can allow and restrict a particular user for an FTP access. Okay, so what we have done is we have just uh, went to the file uh, etc FTP users and we disallowed a user FTP user means according to your condition you have to set uh, allow per, uh, a, a particular or disallow a particular user. Okay, so I have shown how to allow a user, how to disallow a user, how to set files on your FTP server. Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, before that, uh, I'll show you the UFD, uh, UFW configuration also. What is UFW? UFW is nothing but firewall. Okay, so first of all you have to run this command sudo UFW status. So currently at my site UFW is inactive. If you are working with UFW active then what you have to do is you have to run this command sudo UFW allow FTP. Okay. If UFW is active, then only you have to execute this command. Rather than you don't need to execute this command. Okay. If it is active, then you have to run this command. Okay. At my side, it is not active, so I will not execute this command. Okay. And one more thing if you have to start your FTP service at the system boot, then you have to run this command system ctl uh, sudo system ctl enable vsftpd. Okay. Means after you restart your PC, your FTP. Uh, server will be up and running okay so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this video do like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing tutorials